Hello, today I am gonna take you through a lifting session focused primarily on shoulders, okay? So if you are somebody who loves to work shoulders like me, you're gonna love doing this class today, okay? So what I have is a whole variety, I don't think you guys can quite see them, they're probably off camera, um, a whole variety of weights from fives to 15s today. Um, a lot of times with shoulders, I'll go to 20 or 25s as well. So just know that your shoulders are typically pretty strong if you've been working on them a lot, right? And if you haven't been working on them a lot, if you do this class, you like every week, you will build your shoulder strength up and before you know it, you'll be pushing 20s and 25s as well, okay? But um, just for the sake of class today, I'm going up to um, 15s as my heavier weight for the day, okay? So um, we're gonna do some shoulder warm up exercises first. Um, if you would like to write down these exercises and track your weights, that's a great idea. We're going to do three sets of every exercise and we're going for 10 reps. That's the goal. If you get to eight and you're fatiguing, fine, but eight to 10 reps is the goal. So if you think about it, every exercise and I've got eight of them because we're going to do one on one side and one on the other for an exercise, eight exercises, three times through times 10, that's a lot of volume for our shoulders. So we're gonna get a really good workout and then you're gonna go wash your hair so that you tomorrow can't, when you can't lift your arms, you're not gonna feel so bad, okay? Or put some dry shampoo in it. Um, grab some water, your weights, your gloves, put them on and let's get to work, okay? Let's go ahead and warm up. Pause me whenever you need to, all right? We're gonna keep good posture today. We're gonna to keep one hand down, one palm up, and we're gonna just reach and then switch. So we're wringing out the shoulders, twisting through that joint, reaching side to side, engaging our abs a little bit, right? Okay. Give me a few more of these, and then roll it on back. Now this workout you can add on to a cardio class, that would be a great well-rounded workout for you, right? If we did some cardio and then you just went straight to the shoulders, or you can use this as a standalone workout. Once you know the exercises and you've gone through this, you can also make it longer or shorter. So let's say you um, will go through the class with me and you do all three sets today. Next time, maybe you're shorter on time. You can do two sets of everything or one set of everything. Does that make sense? So after you've gone through the class, you kind of already know what the deal is and then you can customize it for yourself. So do whatever else you need to do to loosen up those shoulders. <laughs> Mine are pretty warm. So um, we're gonna start first with a front raise. Front raise is hammer heads up, okay? So your palms are facing in. You're gonna come from right from your thigh to shoulder height and that's it. You're painting an arch with a straight arm from your thigh to your shoulder. So it looks like a pie piece. I always say that, right? You're just using like a quarter, you're gonna have a quarter of a pie today. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna grab a moderate weight for this. You're not gonna use your heaviest weight because it's a straight arm and gravity is gonna work against you. So um, if you are clocking yourself, put yourself on traditional strength training. We're going 10 reps, front raise, ready, set, begin. Now I stagger my stance because it helps protect my back. I was also gonna say feel free to play music because I'm pretty sure I didn't tell you that. You don't wanna listen to me breathing. You don't wanna listen to yourself breathing. <laughs> Put something on, pump it up, play it loud and follow along. We're gonna put a lot of things on repeat here. Everything we do today, you've pretty much seen before or done before. I think I'm on nine and 10, okay? All right, next up, I'm gonna stick with, actually I'm gonna go one increment higher. Okay, so those were eights, these are tens. I'm gonna do a reverse grip press, okay? So we just worked the tops of our shoulders. We're gonna use the tops of our shoulders a little bit more, but just in a different angle. So my grip, is turned in, it's in reverse, it's towards my nose. I'm gonna press up and come back down. I'm only going to press where my shoulders allow me without creeping them up in my ears too much, okay? <laughs> you feel them right away. Core is tight. You're not arching your back. Your weight stay in front of you the whole time. Your elbows come right in front of your rib cage. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. All right, I think that was 10. Do your 10, put those down, and now we're going into the exercise number three. We're going into a side raise, or a lateral raise, or a fly, whatever you wanna call it. 
Again, you're painting an arch from your thigh to your shoulder. We're just going out to the side. Gravity will take over with a straight arm. Bend slightly if you need to. Pinkies up if you need to, okay? That will help um, keep the shoulders out of ears. And again, you're going with that moderate to light weight. Here's 10. You guys can figure out your stance, soft bend in the knees, protect your spine and your core, your back, everything, right? I like kickstand. It just helps me tilt my pelvic towards my chin and really keep good form. So we've got 10 reps here of our lat fly. You count them out yourself. That's your job today. <laughs> you should feel the tops of your shoulders. And so the tops of your shoulders in like this area here, okay? And a little bit of your back is helping you, your rear delt is helping you stabilize, okay? We're gonna come down to the ground into a plank on your knees or toes, and we're gonna shoulder tap for 10. This is shoulder work because it's holding your body weight up, right? All right, here we go. On your all, on your toes, on your hands, hands under the shoulders, we tap 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Try not to rock those hips. Four, three, two, one. I didn't skip five, I just was talking during number five. <laughs> That's it, four moves from the top, okay? We're gonna repeat this set two more times and I have a whole new set to do, okay? You did it once, you know, was it heavy enough or not? So you now need to make some decisions, okay, for your next 10 reps. We start with front raise. When you're ready, set, go, count 10. Shoulders out of your ears. Use the muscle, not the joint. Blow out your air on the way up. Now, if I do nine or 11 and not 10, it's fine. <laughs> Same thing for you, I'm talking, so I expect myself to not have the exact right rep count. All right, reverse grip. Reverse grip. Press it up for 10. Shoulders out of the ears. Need to rest for a second, just let, let it like you know diffuse, <laughs> let the heat come out <laughs> just a little bit, and then we're going into our side raises, okay? Whew. I'm gonna try to go heavier on my second set of flies here. Ready, set, go. If you haven't started yet, pause if you need to and get back. You can also count like this if you really, really need it, okay? Especially if you want to open weights. All right, that was too much. Live and learn. <laughs> down for your shoulder taps, okay? Come down with your planks. Count out your 10. Try not to rock your hips. So widen your stance with your feet if you need to. One more set of all that. They're really warm, right? They should be. If not, you gotta go up and wait a little bit here, okay? All right, let's go. Back to front raise. <laughs> this is how we get that nice, tall posture and frame. So, I said this before and I'll say it again, and I always tell my clients this as well, my personal training clients. Um, when you work on your shoulders, they're like the hangers of your body, right? They are what hold your clothes up. They're what hold your body up beside your core. <laughs> so we should work on them. And I'll tell you why in a second. Okay. I have broad shoulders to begin with. Anyways, I have a short, stocky body. Anyways, so I might as well work on making it look fit and toned. That's my personal goal. And I'll tell you this. When you work your shoulders, everything starts from the top down, right? Your posture. And when you have your shoulders out wide like this, it doesn't matter what the rest of this looks like. Broad shoulders make a V-shape if you can get them in good form and round it out. And that's the vanity side of it. <laughs> but also these shoulders, they do so much for us. When we get down on the ground, they hold us up, right? It's a very important muscle to work. It's also a very delicate joint, okay? So you gotta, for me, I have tons of shoulder issues. I've never gone to the doctor. 
because I just don't want to, right? Because I'm stubborn. Because I'm like, well, either surgery or they're going to tell me to go to PT. We've got 10 of these. So I'm going to strengthen my shoulders the best that I can. The only thing I'm really bad about is stretching them so that my issues kind of go away and they've gotten better, I'll be quite honest. I also take a collagen peptide to beef up the cartilage in my shoulder, which I know was depleted because I used to be able to hear my shoulder grind and it does not anymore. So basically I'm like this. I had a problem in my shoulders and I troubleshoot, them, tr troubleshot them. I tried to remedy them on my own and I've done a pretty good job of it. So what I'm showing you today, you know, <laughs> will hopefully help unless you have something torn, then definitely go to a doctor. <laughs> Go to PT, do all the things, do what works for you, okay? But just know that every time you work your shoulders and you strengthen them, especially a healthy shoulder, it'll help you long term. And it's, you know, vain. <laughs> if you want that V shape. <laughs> I like a nice, strong, solid shoulder. Like I said, I've had wide shoulders my whole life, or broad shoulders. I was a swimmer and a cheerleader. And whether my shoulders were just like this to begin with, and then those sports enhance them, or that sport enhanced them and they weren't gonna, meant to be this way. I don't know, regardless, either way. <laughs> I'm working on one of my favorite body parts to work, so hopefully you like this too. Let's come down to those plank taps. Ready, set, go. Moving on, next set of work. That was three sets of 10, okay? If you're like, I, if you have light weights and you just are like, and get enough out of that, we are gonna do more work. But if you wanna pause me and repeat that all again, go for it. Otherwise, we're heading into upright row. Wide shoulder press, using some of the bigger muscles of the, of the shoulders now. And then we're gonna do a one arm narrow press, okay? So I'm gonna go a little bit heavier on some of these. Drink some water, do some stretches. We're nice and warm now. Let's go right into our upright row. It's a tractor pull. Your posture is nice and tall. Your elbows are coming up. Your weights can stop just about chest level, right? Um, my elbows come up to right, right about here. Some people can get up a little higher, but I don't wanna go too high because look what happens to my traps. They start creeping up into my neck and you don't necessarily want that, okay? So let's go ahead with our 10 reps upright row. Ready, set, go. Get the shoulders out of the ears. So sometimes that one hurts me. Not hurt, but like it, I can feel like a tweak in my, sometimes I can. I'm actually gonna go heavier on my shoulder press. Okay, give me one second to grab my weights. I'm feeling good. My shoulders are warm, super warm, and they're ready to work. So I'm going 17 and a half shoulder press. You get your heavier weight, box out, like field goal post, and come straight up overhead, and then back down. You make the number 11 parallel. Do not clank your weights, control them. Stack your stance if you need to, protect your back, core tight. You can also do this seated if you worry about your back. You can just sit down on a bench or a chair and do this. Get one more. So for me, that's my strongest press. I have assistance from my bicep and it's really working the whole shoulder, okay? Um, <clears throat> moving on next to one arm press, narrow. Looks like this. I do have one hand on my hip, you wanna put your hand out there, whatever it may be. I'm gonna stagger my stance and I'm gonna keep my elbow tucked and tight towards my rib cage. It is touching my body. I'm gonna come up like a truck driver and come back down, bent elbow. Up like a truck driver press. My fist is gonna be in my peripheral vision in front of my head, okay? Now I'm gonna do it with a weight. <laughs> Let's go. From here, pressing up, 10, nine. Now you're gonna feel your body's offset balance. You gotta keep that core tight. You guys get what I mean with a truck driver, right? Honk that horn, pull that horn. <laughs> I 
Keep your balance. Try to stop your body from rocking. Keep it with my tenth. All right, my dogs are outside playing, and they're doing they're doing things in the window. <laughs> things that dogs do outside, and it's just kind of funny. So if you see me laughing, I'm laughing at my dogs. Other side. <laughs> How your shoulders feeling? Good. This is all controlled. Oh yeah, they're doing all sorts of things. I have two dogs. So they each did both duties outside. <laughs> TMI! Oh, good job, good job. Let's go ahead, loosen it up. That was technically four moves, right? Because we did this side, each side, it counts as four. Okay, coming back to upright row. So let's just head right at it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and learn this one. Ready, set, go. I'll be honest, I feel really strong on that one. I don't always. I felt really, really good. We're going into shoulder press next for 10. Don't be afraid to wrap your heavy weights and go for 10. I want heavier on the one, I've got the same on the second, and I do feel like on this next one, I need to lighten up a little bit, so I'm going to lighten up. Just a bit, we're going for 10. Shoulder out of the ears. Yeah, yeah, it's adding up. This is why I said goal is 10, but if you get to eight and are fatigued or cashed out, then you know you're pushing the right weight. I was about there on that arm. Let's try this one. Doo -doo. Come on, truck driver. Used to sit in the back of my station wagon <laughs> when we used to have no seatbelt law, and we'd sit in the way back where we could look out the rear window, right? <laughs> And we find our truck drivers driving by and we do this. Get them to blow their horn. Oh my, how times have changed. I don't think you can do that anymore. <laughs> all right, we got one more set of all this. We feeling it? I think I'm gonna stick with that same set of weights for all of these exercises. So for my upright row and my shoulder press, here's the time for you to evaluate what you think. What are you gonna do, okay? Oh my gosh. they're. This is like twice now, my dogs. It's so entertaining. <laughs> oh, they're getting exercise. They've been frozen all, all two weeks. They find they're getting outside and running around because it's like 15 degrees out. Feel your poles, your upright rows. You might really like that weight, you just flip it over and use it again for your shoulder press. Otherwise, switch it out, shoulder presses for your 10. So you know right now, do you have more in you or are you about done? Okay. You will know for sure. You have time for another set if you have ability for another set or if you pushed your hardest today and you know you're going to go wash that hair. Control it. Did you make it to 10 each set? I was tricky on that one. Okay. Get his arm. And you know, one side might feel strong. 
stronger than the other, but I do want you to try to use the same weight in both arms. Unless you have an injury, then I guess I could allow a little bit of a reason for you to switch out, but I really want you to try to keep the weight the same. I'll tell you right now, one shoulder, one arm, one side of my body is bulkier and bigger than the other. But I use the same weight on both sides. They don't go like, well, this is my Hulk arm. I'm gonna go heavier. I do not do that. <laughs> and I will tell you this too. Go ahead and stop. Good job, good job. That was, that was shoulder work. Good job, good job. I don't know if you'll be able to lift those arms up. Just let them sink and sag for a second, okay? Maybe just do a little bit of your neck stretches. Um, I have joint issues in each shoulder. And it changes from day to day, week to week, just depending on how things are going. I'll tell you today, they felt really, really good, really, really strong. They're really, really tired now, but it um, makes me feel good that all the work that I do works through some of the issues that I'm having, more strength that I have, to stretch more. I've said that already, um, which we're going to do right now. But you can rehabilitate your body by taking care of it. That's my point. Okay, go ahead and roll those shoulders down and back and open up the chest because this does open up your shoulder joints. So let's see, I used all of my weights that I put out in front of me except for my five. So that's pretty good today. I did a good job guessing what rate, weight range I wanted to use. If you need, <laughs> need to, write down the exercises we did and the weights that you used, and you can come back and revisit this video, this workout, this class, anytime that you want, okay? So open up those shoulders. I'm gonna show you on the wall. Grab it and rotate just a little bit. That also opens up your shoulder, right? You can do this on a corner of a wall of your room, okay? Um, I'll show you one more. If you can get a corner, like if you can get a wall, you can bend your elbow and stretch it too. So I can't really do it. I don't have my wall's not flat. I can sledge, but I'll try it, okay? So you're going to take your elbow to the wall and then turn. It works really well on a corner of a wall or a flat wall. All right, another thing you can do is if you have a chair or a, something like that, you can always come down like this. It doesn't work on my wall there, or my, my ledge. All right, go ahead and open your other arm. Open your chest, which opens the shoulder. Go ahead and try that bent arm. You can come down to the ground and do these as well. Just do a torso rotation. But at any point today, as you start to tighten up, do some more of these stretches. You can come here, open up, you know, a little bit of pressure on that wrist, open up the shoulders this way. You can do your stretches this way, big circles. I don't think you want to take your arms overhead right now. <laughs> Maybe keep them down low. <laughs> All right, that's shoulders for you. So I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I love this. I really, really do. So I hope you did too. Um, check out more body Part exercises, more muscle group exercises coming your way soon. And um, if you do your shoulders one day, and then you can do your back and chest another day, and then your bias and tries another day, or you can do bias and back, or you can do chest and tries. There's so many ways, that, and then a leg day, of course. Um, there's so many ways to split this up, but here's your shoulder day. You can go back and find a leg workout and add do shoulders and legs in one day. We've got leg workouts out there. They're there. So go ahead and check it out. Thanks so much for coming today, and I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye.